Alright guys, Simon here, we're playing Gothic once again. So, in the last set of videos, we joined the old camp. We are now wearing the red armor of the old camp. We stole a bunch of stuff from Gomez's tower. That's the tower there, we stole all his loot. And we also killed Bullet, the guy who punched us in the face at the beginning of the game. We killed him. He's dead now. Dead for good. So, right, let's keep talking to these people. Scorpio is a pretty cool guy. For Gomez! Gomez! Okay, he doesn't actually have anything to say to us. Let me. He will when we are guard, but since we're only a shadow, he doesn't actually talk to us. So never mind him, he's not cool. Uh, so there's a lot of loot inside the castle here. I haven't walked... Uh, let me just leave this until a little bit later. Let's walk this way first. So there's walls, and then actually it's just all nuggets on the ground. Let's pick this stuff up. In fact, there's another nugget back there. We can see that. All right, let's just pick up this, the all nuggets on the ground. So there's like castle walls, and there's stuff on the walls. Um, I won't do the lock picking on. Oh crap! I pressed the wrong button. I won't do the lockpicking on screen. So there are chests lying around for you to loot. If you're careful when you're not spotted. I'll do that when I'm not recording, I think. Uh, so this pod does absolutely nothing. In case you're wondering, that, that leads nowhere. There's a thing in here. And the chefs work here sometimes. Not today though, so there's another little kitchen in here, there's no loot though. And then there's like a, a dungeon in here. Can we get inside? I think the door's locked. Let me just see if we can pick the lock. I don't think we can, but I'm, I'm gonna try. Nope. Nope, you can't pick that lock at all. So if it, I mean, you, you press left and right to pick locks, but if both left and right does nothing, then you can't pick the lock, basically. Uh, so let me just walk through here. At some point I'll probably loot everything in here, but I'll show you what this stuff is. Now, can I jump up? Can I not jump up here? No, I guess I can't. Nope. Alright, never mind this. I need to come in a different way. Is there a... no, there are no doors there. So back in the barracks, you can get up into the walls. Oh, actually, there's a different dungeon. So there's that dungeon back there, and then there's like a... another part of it. Yeah. So Bullet is gone, his corpse is gone, alright. Not gonna see him ever again. So there's a dungeon here as well. I don't believe there's any loot here at the moment. So we're right underneath an opening there. There's like skeletons sitting around, being dead. Alright, so there's not much there. A switch. Hmm. Guard, and then these, there's like prisoners or just empty cells. I think they're mostly empty cells. And then there's nothing in there. They can sneak in here, jump in. To jump. Actually, no, you can't. There's a, there's gates there. All right, never mind. You can't get in from there. So this is not really all that important or interesting at this point in time. Near the end of the game, we can come back here and and do a little something, but not that important neither. Well, it's quite important, but it's not that interesting. So there's a dungeon back there. In here, there's barracks, and so beside each bed is a chest. You can see that there. So eventually I'll pick all of those locks and steal everybody's stuff. But I won't waste your time with that. So you see there's a lot of them. And in fact there's more back this way. If I can not be stuck. So there's a lot of stuff there. 
So now we're up here. If you think. Right, and then we can cross to here. More beds, more chests, more loot. So there's a lot of chests for us to pick. Eventually. And then here. We're inside the walls. And if I. Come on, open the So now this is the gatehouse, right? I can get down there. I don't remember if there's anything useful. Up and I can climb on top of the gates. Can we see anything outside? A little bit. Let's see the town outside. Let's climb up so we can get to the top of the. Well, we can kind of. We're gonna get to the top of the gate. Up here. So everything is accessible. We can climb all over the place. Well, there's really no reason to do so. Nice view, I guess. So there's the main gate. We started the game up there. So there you go. Nothing to loot. So let me just step off and... Let me just check down here. What's this? Ah, uh, nothing. What's this? Okay, so now we're... In the part of the wall, and this is the barracks again. Yeah, that's the barracks again. Okay, so we found this. Not that useful. So everything is connected together. I think <laughs> I don't know how many of you are keeping up, or if you're just completely lost as to where we're going, what we're doing. We close the gate, and there's this bit here. On the other side of the gate from the barracks is. More rooms, more beds, no loot. Ah, oh, there's no loot in here. Oh, there is loot. Never mind, there's two chests in here. More stuff for us to steal. And then, down here, if I can get down there. Down here is... Come on, open the door. Another part of the wall. Right, so there's the courtyard, this Scorpio training those guys. And then here, so the part we couldn't get up to before, now we're here. So there's all that, and in between everything is, is a bunch of chests that we can loot later. Alright, so there's the castle. Uh, who should we talk to? For Gomez! Gomez! I've done it. At last I belong to the camp. Congratulations, kid. You'd better stick close to Diego from now on. Only go to Gomez or Raven if you have something really important to say. Okay. Diego? For Gomez! Gomez! Okay, we can get the heavy shadow armor from him for 1,200 ore. Oh, wow, that's expensive. Can I have armor like yours? Do you have enough ore? Good thing we stole all that stuff from Gomez, so we can afford this. Take care. All right, so that gives us let's see, ten more weapon defense, five more f defense against fire. Yes, there we go. More defense. In fact, what weapons do we have? Well, sort of fear light crossbow, which is does more damage than the bow. The crossbows do more damage than the bows, but they're slower. So there's the trade-off. Uh, what else is there for us to do? Did I cook all the meat that I had? Yes, okay. New chapter means that the merchants have new stuff to sell now. Not that we need to buy anything because we've already got the uh, like more useful stuff. We got the longbow, we got the orc hammer. The merchants won't have anything better than those, but we can always check to see what they have. Maybe for Gomez, offload some junk and swap it for ore and show me your goods, arrows and bolts. So there's all the junk we gave him before. He's got crude swords, <laughs> a lot of crude swords. And oh, that's it. He's got nothing. I see. So 
the guy inside the the castle is the one who's gonna sell the new stuff. He doesn't have any better stuff. Where's Dexter? For Gomez. Gomez. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. He's got a map of the colony. Fifteen arrows. Nothing really useful. Huh. That's interesting. They don't seem to have updated their stock. Maybe they haven't. Maybe they don't. Maybe we have to um wait for the next chapter. Anyway, so now we have better armor. And what I think I want to do is get Scar's sword. Remember he has the best sword in the game. But to do that, we'll need to do a lot more damage. So I can turn the 20 skill points I have into strength. So I have 50 strength. Don't know if that's enough to take him on. The other thing is we can kill more monsters. Now that we have more better armor. Let me just... Let me save the game, go to Diego, train 20 points into strength, and see if we can beat up Scar with that strength. Or I can train my one-handed... No, I think strength is more important than... than training at this point. Although, it'll give us a better rate of critical hits if we do train up our one-handed skill. Let's save. And just see how much difference 20 more strength makes. For Gomez! Gomez. Uh, teach me something. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve. Uh, strength. 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 And strength. And... Your strength has increased. Yes. Come back I know. Goodbye. Take care. Uh, and what am I wearing right now? Dexterity and power, okay. So I just wanted to see how far I get with 50 strength, as opposed to, you know, 30. Hey Scar, what's up Scar? Let's save this again in a different slot. And go. You've taught him a lesson. Try that again, hmm. and you're dead. Almost. Except he has, well, he has one potion. He has one potion. We can kind of do this. We can, we can do this. We almost did it. Bro, get up already. All right, orc hammer. Pick that up. I better keep out of it. Equip the orc hammer. Yeah, oh, extract of life. Well, let's take the extract of life. Uh, well, there was a time potions. when things would have gone very change. Maybe. Okay. Round. Round two. What a fight! Try that again and you're dead. Hmm. Some people. The interesting thing is he doesn't get mad, he doesn't kill you. Wow, okay, well this is gonna work because he doesn't he doesn't do anything to you. Most people the second time you you attack them, they'll kill you. Scar seems to be quite gentlemanly. Something about that story after all. Fascinating. Fascinating. Must be something about that story after all. Let's um drink some potions and equip the hammer. Round three, go. It was obvious. Sad performance! A tiny gust of wind and he would have toppled over anyway! Uh, if you say so, crossbow of war. Alright, now we back away from that situation. And what do we have? What do we have? Scar sword, 8570. 
Oh, it's only 85. Hmm. Pretty sure that's the best sword in the game. But 8570. And then crossbow You'll be of war. very sorry for that. No, I won't. Crossbow of war is 150, 155. So I'm 15 short and 20 short. Okay. There you go. Some of the best weapons in the game. And that woman is dancing. Alright, we're gonna leave them alone. So. Yeah, that's, that's the best one handed sword in the game. Like that. Cool. So now we need about four levels of experience so that we can equip his sword and the crossbow. I don't know if I want to use the crossbow. How much? How many bolts do I have? 200 bolts. Sure, why not? Let's get some experience so we can use these weapons. And then uh, we're going to be really happy. Well, I'm going to be really happy. I am really happy already. Interesting that Scar doesn't really doesn't kill you. <laughs> I thought he would kill us. So there are a few places we can go for experience. Um, I guess... Okay, let's just kill... Hey guys. Let's kill um, the lizards and lurkers this way, and then there'll be some snappers further along. Let's, let's kill those, and then see how we go from there. Shall we? In fact, let's just save. Let's save. You'll notice though that the armor that we got didn't really make any difference against Scar. Like he does damage so quickly that once he hits you, you're dead. What really made the difference is being able to actually do damage to him by getting the extra 20 strength. Alright, Lizard. Come on, Lizard. You want to you wanna go? You want to go? Come at me, bro. Come on. At me, bro. Oh. Wow, hey. If I hit them, I kill them in one hit. If I hit them. <laughs> Usually you don't hit them. Alright, let's wait a bit and then... So if you delay your attack, you will get through them. Get through their defense. Come on, come on scavenger. Your turn. <laughs> Alright, lizard. Yes, come on. Come on. Well, missed a few times, but it does almost no damage to me, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Ah, uh, let's just run up and beat these guys. It's not even waste time. There you go. So, remember how dangerous these things were at the beginning of the game? Not anymore.